Hello everyone, Vincent Teo from HDTV Test here. I'm here at LG's show hall at the IFA 2017 Consumer Electronics Trade Show in Berlin and I'm here with Mr. Darren Peterson who's the Head of Product Marketing and Partnerships at LG UK. Thank you Darren for taking the time to speak to us. You have one of the most impressive show booths with all these wallpaper tally and one of the big story is clearly the launch of your new 77 inch W7 signature wallpaper television. Would you like to tell our viewers more about that? Yeah, so um, I think your viewers are quite familiar with the 65 inch uh, wallpaper TV. So we're just about to launch the 77 inch now, so it should be available in the UK very soon uh, through selected retailers. And it's for us, it's the absolute pinnacle of our range, the biggest screen size, wallpaper TV, the, the innovative design with all the best spec as well, so UHD, HDR, and of course the Dolby Atmos uh, solution as well. So it's really the ultimate TV we can offer this year. In terms of availability, when can consumers, probably rich consumers, expect to buy it? should be available within September online, um, and then we're hoping to have it um, on display in a couple of retailers uh, in October. So maybe you'll be able to see it in Harrods and Selfridges in October on display. They need uh, quite a lot of room to display this TV, so it, it won't be ranged in a lot of stores, um, but it'll be available online quite soon. Definitely. And what sort of price point are we talking about? So we announced the pricing anyway earlier in the year, so this product is scheduled to launch at around £25,000. Okay. Now, there are a couple of other manufacturers who have launched their 77-inch OLED television buying panels from LG Display as well, and they came in at a lower price point than yours. Will you be reconsidering your price position in the near future? I think, you know, prices always move, so we'll have to see. Um, and remember, our product is quite different. We have the wallpaper TV design and Dolby Atmos solution, so they're quite different uh, products. Um, but yeah, we'll see on the pricing. Now, I've been impressed by generally by your 2017 OLED range, and I think that the LG B7 and the C7 represents unbeatable value for money because they are by far the most affordable 2017 sets uh, on the market and supports Dolby Vision, all the many HDR formats. Now, could you let us know, if possible, how the sales of these models are doing in the UK? Yeah, so the 2017 range actually in terms of sales is only really starting to get going now. So a lot of the 2016 product are only just finishing. So to give you a bit of context, the B6 and C6 from last year, so far in 2017s in terms of sales, they're accounting for about 65% of the OLED market. Uh, the, the B7 and C7 are just coming in now in terms of really ramping up sales. Um, and we expect those two, again, to be the most popular OLED models in the UK. I can't give you specific numbers at the moment, um, but, but we are you're confident that they're going to be the most popular models again, for sure. Talking about 2017 LG OLED displays, I see on your stand that you have a new picture board, the Technicolor picture board. Could you tell us more about it? Yeah, so that's a uh, collaboration with Technicolor, so we've been working with them for a while um, and we made uh, some announcements uh, with them at CES earlier in the year. And this is um, some of the fruits from that partnership, so it's a new picture settings mode um, that the engineers and colorists at Technicolor have been working on in collaboration with our R&D team. Um, so that will be available soon for consumers. Probably be fantastic when watching movies because you're really getting the um, expertise of the of the Technicolor team um, and the guys that actually work on um, the content at the, on the movie studio level. So you're really going to get a very very good pitch quality setting. And is this applicable to both SDR and HDR as well? Yeah, so it's agnostic in terms of HDR. So it's a, it's it's a picture mode setting that's available across any content that you're watching. Yeah. One story at this EFA was the emergence of this new format called HDR10 Plus that tries to compete with Dolby Vision by offering an open royalty free standard. What are your thoughts on it? Are there any plans for your company to include it in the future? So I think, you know, from LG's perspective, we've been uh, the leading brand in terms of offering HDR support. So we offer more HDR um, support than any other brand um, since we launched in 2017. 
The HDR10 Plus uh, emergence, is, it's still too early to say. It's um, not an industry standard yet, so we'll have to wait and see how that's going to progress. We're not too far away from CS 2018. Would it be possible for you to reveal even a little bit of info of what our viewers can expect from 2018 LG OLEDs? So I can't get into any specifics, but I think what you'll see is further innovation in terms of picture quality, audio uh, and design, uh, and of course uh, on the user experience side as well. So you'll, you'll just have to wait and see though, just got to be a bit patient. Okay, thank you for taking the time to speak to us. I understand you're a very, very busy person. Lots of, uh, lots of appointments uh, today, but uh, I think it's a fantastic booth. I think you put up a really, really nice display with all the rotating wallpaper TVs to showcase the thinness and the possibility of OLED. Well done, very well done. Thanks a lot.